Hey ladies and gents, it's Sizdwish here with the review of the Heroic Magic Effects, the Evil Magic Effects, and the Poxus Hand Pack, and the Poxus Weapon Pack from the latest Poxus Wave from Four Horsemen Toy Design. So, I find that a lot of the fun of the action figures comes from the accessories that we get and the mix and match capabilities. And so that's why I'm really glad that we got these. Um, let's start with the Poxus hand pack. We've gotten hand packs from them before. Um, basically, uh, this is very simple. Comes in this easy to open and easy to close uh, hand pack. Uh, and it has all the hands you ever need. Um, normal Caucasian uh, 2.0 hands, I believe those are, and then some green hands for orcs and goblins and stuff. So, you know, grasping hands, um, spell casting hands, gesturing hands. And uh, I do note that the uh, green hands have black fingernail polish on them. So that's very, very cool. I'm not going to take them out because, you know, there's plenty. One, two, three, four, five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 of them. I'm clumsy, and if I get them out, they're going to be all over the place. And I'm just going to keep put those to the side and then um, show you how exciting this is. This is, I think, my favorite, one of my favorite parts of these extra packs, and that's the Poxus Weapon Pack. Again, it slides out as well from the packaging. Um, this has a little bit more room in there so you see the cool Nate Barch art mountains. And then in the back, Poxus and a cross cell. So these don't say that they're a heroic weapons pack or an evil weapons pack, just a weapons pack. And we've gotten a lot of these in different colors with the various figures, especially if you ordered the all-in. Looks like there's a little bit of, sorry, I apologize. Uh, this is the first time I'm opening these and it has a little bit of tape here. So, um, oh, there it goes. See, this is what happens. <laughs> Whenever I open one of these <laughs> plastic trays. Um, okay, I'll go through them one by one. You have this staff, which I believe came with Zende. This is not a gold staff, it's a silver staff, and it has the wing serpent. So, um, beautifully sculpted and uh, ready to use. Uh, it has a couple of scrolls that came with Samir Scroll Warder. And they're rolled up. There's a long skinny one and then there's a short stubby one. Not terribly exciting uh, as far as that's concerned. Then we have the book that came with Samir uh, Scroll Warder, but it's in a different colorway. This one's green and it's got a silver chain, but it's got all those nice accents and details and finely painted parts. You know, I like the little touches like the bookmark. The class, the buckle, and all of that. So there is that as well. Very cool. The Raven Head, I believe this one came with Samir Scroll Warder as well. With the little clip so you can put it on any figure's belt and kind of snazz them up. You have the belt. I believe these came with a couple of figures, but you can never have enough belts. This is awesome. And it's got a pouch with the painted clasp there and, you know, places where you can put the weapons. Then you have this, which is one of my favorite new additions. It's the tiny flasks. Uh, lavender, blue, yellow, and red. And I believe those may also be a different colorway than the ones that came with... Um, uh, I think a couple of other figures, perhaps. Um, we have another, a little, some bones. 
that you can clip on your belt there. I don't know what those are for. You have the alternative purple staff or alternatively colored purple staff. This one came with race, race Haler, but that had a blue orb on the top instead of this purple one. I'm not sure. Okay. Then we also have this really cool staff. I think what I'm I'm not sure who this came with, but it's a it's a purple version. And again, it's the convocation of Basilia. Because it's got those wings, sort of like the there's no serpent there, but it's kind of the winged serpent motif, and it's just a purple color. So um those of you that like purple will like that. Then you have the blue crystal. I think this came with uh Arizak. Um it's a blue crystal and it's I don't believe it's translucent. It looks more like a stone than a crystal. Actually it looks like it's painted blue. And it's the gold staff with all the cool poxis touches as far as the insect legs on it. What else? There was something in here that I did not get to and hopefully it hasn't rolled out. This little um, belt pack here. Sorry, folks. And it's a little more plainly, plainly painted, but it's got all those nice details like the the ball or the clay pot wrapped with twine, the pouch with the uh, string wrapped around it, and um, another sort of little thing so wizards can carry their magical potions. So that is the weapons pack. And um, if you have wizards from other lines, or if you decide you want to mix and match, uh, stuff from other lines that's very very easy to do right um because i personally think that all of the figures if you did get the all in came with the proper amount of magic effects but you know you might want to do something with some different colors i've been looking to this forward to the evil and the good weapons pack because i have a figure that I want to sort of jazz up. Here he is. <laughs> I've already added some extra accessories to him. That's Plasmar from the Masters of the Universe Classics line. So uh, I added a hat and some guns to make him look more Mexican. His, he has plasma powers. So I wanted to um, have him with some of these red plasma magical effects. I haven't decided how I'll do it ultimately, but I like the serpent because, you know, the serpent plays an important part in the Mexican um, myth uh, or, um, I guess, origin story of, of how um, Mexicans found uh, Mexico City and, and ended up founding it in the Aztec days. So I want to see if I could figure out a way to incorporate this cool snake magical effects. Since he has snake pants already, right? He's got a hat and all that stuff. And I like the fact that they're red and green because those are very Mexican colors. So I'm going to jazz this guy up. He originally came with this translucent um, horde bow, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to add some of these effects to it. Let's see, maybe a bigger one. Some of these magical effects to it so that, you know, he can shoot out all kinds of cool looking stuff. So um, I've already shown you the snake. I'm gonna try to see if I could show you these without having them fall all over the place which they are want to do 
Um, so there's the tray. Uh, it's got right over here this magical twisty bolt and one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, for lack of a better word, spirograph looking magical effects. It's got these, there I go. It's got those two like uh, gray windmill effects. It's got a couple of purple lightning effects. Those are really, really cool. And uh, then it has the skull, the flying skull that came with Thrace Wraith Haler, except this one is in red and not in blue because it's evil. And I guess evil magic is red. So then we have the heroic ma magic effects, which are the exact same thing as the uh, non-heroic magic effects except they're in different colors. And let's see here. Sorry. I hate that sound of squishy plastic. But there you can see, I'm gonna mix red and green into my plasmar when I ultimately get them done. And I'm gonna use that green snake and add some uh, wings to it so that I could have a wing serpent. And so I'm very excited about this. It, as you can see, it's the exact same thing as the other pack, just in different colors. Look, they're so magic, they just fly off on their own accord. Anyway, um, let me see. I brought a, a Doctor Strange figure from the DCUC. So I'll have him hovering here. And then, you know, I think he would look a lot better with uh, maybe some magical lightning emitting from his hand, right? Something like that, I think, would look cool. Um, and, oh, you know, the possibilities are just really endless as far as using these effects with other figures. I guess here he is fighting a serpent, magical serpent. Um, also... I've been having fun with the D13 Demons and the um, starting lineup figures and mashing those up. And so I'm going to probably use some of these magical effects to jazz up that display where I'm creating like half demonic uh, basketball players, right? I think that looks cool. I love translucent green effects. I think they're my favorite effects of all, but, um, you know, it, it, there's something here in these packs for everybody. So the Pox's hand pack I showed you, I showed you the heroic and the evil um, packs, as well as the magical staff or the Pox's weapons pack. And I'm going to end the review and just have fun with these. And uh, I, I highly recommend you get them because the possibilities are endless. The colors are very, very cool. And you can use them across lines um, to do with as you will. And I always find that a little extra accessory adds some pop to your display and to your figures. Is the Wiz signing out.